guys and welcome to the family fudge today i'm going to share with you an awesome dining room makeover come along with me today as i show you how my husband and i took about four hours and less than 200 dollars to completely transform our boring outdated dining room so stay tuned Now before we get started, I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos like this. Okay guys, now here's our dining room before. One of the biggest problems I have with this space, other than it lacks style, is the picture frames. I love the picture frames, I love the pictures inside of the frames, but I don't love them in my dining room anymore. The problem is I do a lot of filming in here for this YouTube channel, and when I use my secondary lighting, I see too much reflection of my lights, and it's distracting. So I wanna go ahead and move these picture frames to a different location in the house. Another thing that I've been wanting to change for a while is our water dispenser. I know it's not very pretty, but it is practical. But since we now have a reverse osmosis filter in our sink, and we also have a Brita water pitcher in our fridge, I'm ready to get rid of this. Another thing I've been dying to change for a while are the blinds. Now I have to be honest with you guys, I've never really loved these blinds, but they were free. When we first moved into this house, a lot of our furniture and home decor items were either free or hand-me-downs. But nowadays, I really wanna add some style to our home. My husband removed that eyesore of a water dispenser and he also took down the old blinds. And I took the opportunity to wash the windows. They were really bad, especially on the outside. Now doing these kind of projects are always tricky with the kids. They do like to run around, get into things. They think they're helping, but not really. Good thing they're cute. Next it was time to paint. There was a time where I really loved my blue accent wall, but it started to seem really dingy and outdated. So we went ahead and painted this wall the same color as everything else. We have a nice large five gallon bucket of this paint in our garage, so it's easy to do touch-ups. And of course, while we had the paint out, we took the opportunity to cover over some problem areas, like where Griffin had drawn on the wall and other scuff marks and things like that. Now at this point, my husband pretty much took over the painting duty and I'm so thankful that he did because to tell you the truth, he kind of hates painting, but he does it anyway. So thank you, honey. While he was taking care of the painting, I actually went outside to spray paint my wrought iron piece. I found this at Hobby Lobby and it was only about $10. I decided I wanted it to be a little bit lighter in color, so I just gave it a light coating. Next, I went ahead and brought all the pieces I was thinking about using into the space and I laid them all out on the table because I wasn't exactly sure which items I wanted to use. I really needed to see them in the space to decide. Now at this point, I had to take a break and fix the kids a snack and my husband went ahead and took care of the windows. He hung up the new blinds, which I love. I love the bright white color and they're very simple. He also hung the curtain rods. It actually took me two trips to the store to decide on these curtain rods. The first time I went, I accidentally got ones that were too small. Next, it was time to bring in our new table. If you saw the haul video, you'll know there's a sad story behind this table. And that story also explains why the table is a little bit scuffed up, but that's okay. I'm still gonna use it. We were definitely running out of time here. So it was time to try out the different wall decor pieces. I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to use and where. So my sweet husband made sure to hold them up so I could see how they would look from a distance. I tried to keep the decor light and bright and airy. And all of these things sort of have a farmhouse look about them. Next, it was time to decide what pieces should go on the new table and what I wanted to put on the dining room table. I love picking out decor pieces, but I'm not very good at putting the pieces together, if you know what I mean. Like arranging them in groups and making it look good. I'm still working on that. So I tried several different arrangements before I settled on one. Then it was time to move on to the table decor. I tried to keep this nice and simple since my kids use this table every day and I didn't want to put anything too fragile or expensive. 
And I really like that all of the decor is on a tray, so I can easily pick up and move the tray if needed. Now we're almost done here, just time for a little cleanup. I definitely needed to sweep the floor, there was lots of dust, and then I also wanted to mop. I will need to go back and do more of a detail clean later, but it was getting pretty late. Next, I brought back in the chairs, which also needed a good cleaning, but just for tonight, I just wiped them down and made them good enough. And there you have it, guys. I think this turned out so nice. I'm actually blown away. Both my husband and myself, we looked at it and said, this does not look like our house. I was super thankful that he was willing to help me on this project. We were able to get it done in such a short amount of time without a huge budget. And it's really a big motivator for me to keep it clean and organized. If you enjoyed this video today, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.